The government announced a plan to strengthen its control on the police. Law enforcement officers are protesting the plan, which gives the Minister of the Interior and Safety the authority to command the Commissioner General and to appoint and discipline high-ranking officials. The key to the government's plan is the establishment of a separate support body within the Ministry of Interior and Safety to allow the minister to directly oversee police activities. The Minister of Interior and Safety was already endowed with that authority by law, but the latest plan aims to set up an organization that can actually support that duty of the minister. 지금까지는 경찰청의 도움을 받아서 경찰청에서 파견된 치안 정책관의 도움을 받아서 했는데 이제 행정안전부가 그것을 권한 행사를 실질적으로 하고. Furthermore, the ministry is authorized to command the Commissioner General when establishing key policies inside the police organization. The plan even proposes a way to form within the ministry a nomination committee for high-ranking police officers. The minister stands to have the right to demand disciplinary actions on the Commissioner General as well. An advisory committee on the police system, improvement led by the Vice Minister of the Interior and Safety, is to make recommendations. Commissioner General Kim Chang Leung immediately convened a meeting of Metropolitan and Provincial Police Chiefs and released an official statement that claimed this plan would harm the rule of law, which is the foundation of state organizations and the Constitution. It is reported that local police chiefs at the two hour meeting grew quite indignant, even demanding the impeachment of the Minister of the Interior and Safety. <laughs> Lower ranking officers also collectively protested the plan. The police demanded the ministry establish a society wide council and gather opinions. There was also a call for control by citizens and society rather than administrative control. <laughs> 